How's it going? New World, Sephir here, and we are back with another video today. And this time we're going to be talking about our top three end game activities, which are going to be activities designed to get your gear score ahead and more importantly, let you found, find powerful items. And this is going to come from a few avenues here as we're going to talk about these. So first on my list for the top three is going to be dungeons. And this is all going to be information coming from the 1.2 patch as we are now currently on this version in the live setting. So what we're going to talk about is the quality of items coming from dungeons. So the quality of items coming from dungeons has been increased in my opinion. I did a series of 10 to 15 dungeons yesterday and some more today. And I found that I was getting a lot of things like timeless shards. But more importantly, I was getting a lot of high gear score items especially since my gear score is capped as you can see right here on the left side my expertise when it says 590 that's the max gear score you can reach in a category and that means you are in the 590 to 600 bracket range for finding items and that's exactly where you want to be as you can see i have a few pieces that are not within that bracket range and that was due to the chokehold on the way that jewelry behaved in the previous patch now that that has been increased i'm able to get this through a very a couple of various activities especially the guaranteed expertise increases which is what we should also talk about here because there's some little interesting things uh, going on with the way things are working right now uh, so the first thing is that dungeons uh, so the bosses are dropping higher level loot so they're getting more loot up towards the 600 gear score i got this bad boy the other day oh man this thing is juicy i want to use it so bad but i'm half tempted to sell it because i know it's going to go for a lot of money in terms of uh, being able to do the lazarus instrumentality especially with some of that talk of these mutations coming up up here so this is very 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 clean hammer here is going to be uh, very desirable uh, but there's some nice stuff coming here from these dungeons right and uh, these dungeons are dropping a lot of high quality loot and supposedly guaranteed expertise boss drops but that doesn't seem to be the case at least when you hit 590 gear score in every weapon and every armor and even the shield category and all you have left is jewelry It seems that sometimes we get an expertise upgrade, which is a little odd So I don't know what's going on with the system if jewelry is not behaving uh, In the same way that weapons and armor do since it's kind of a new thing that they've added with the drops uh, But the some of the boss monsters are not giving you that quote-unquote guaranteed expertise upgrade that the developers said they would uh, So that may be something to check into Amazon it doesn't seem to be working properly there um, if it was I should get at least you know every boss kill I should get one jewelry expertise upgrade and that is not the case I can assure you because I did many runs and tested that and that's not how it's going but I did notice that the quality of those items overall in general was higher in the dungeon so it's going to be your best place to get high gear score items several of my teammates got legendaries I got many legendaries myself the rolls on them vary it could be good it could be bad but whatever they did you're getting more stuff, right? Like something's happening, you're getting more things. So the, sec the second thing on my list that I want to talk about is going to be uh, chest farming. So when we talk about that, we talk about um, doing things like the Shattered Mount, uh, Scorch Mines, the Mirror Guard here as well, um, and then also doing Reek Water. And on top of that, we now have two additions, which is going to be the Imperial Palace in Ebon Scale, and Malevolence, which is located in the Garden, or sorry, not Garden, but in Eden's Grove area. So these are all going to be fantastic places to get chest upgrades, because chests, um, I thought they weren't going to be as good. They, they were supposedly nerfed, and they're supposed to be one-tenth of the power that they were before. However, I noticed that going through every single chest run in the game yesterday, I took my whole guild through there, I did them all, I got three jewelry expertise upgrades from the supply stockpiles alone. That's not killing any monsters or anything, that's just running to each elite chest and picking it up. So elite chests are still really good. You can get tons of watermarks. And my guild members were getting many expertise upgrades as well. Even some of our guild members that didn't have as much gear. Maybe they were a little bit lower in the bracket. They were gaining a lot of expertise upgrades in weapons and armors and all kinds of good stuff. So that's going to be number two on my list. You need to run all of these elite point of interest uh, that are above level 60, of course. They need to be, and, and preferably more than 60, they need to be like, the ability to have level 65 plus monsters in them. So those areas would be the Scorched Mines, Mirror Guard, uh, over here in Malevolence, the Imperial Palace, 
And finally, to top it all off, the Siren Strand area down here in Reekwater. So running these areas are very, very, very good. You could also add Eternal Pools to that list because it does have 66 monsters with two elite chests in there, I believe. But we generally skip that a little bit because it takes so long to go through and you only get two chests. So we don't find it too much worth the time. But if you want to be a completionist, you could do all of those activities. And that will definitely increase your gear score. And then the last system we have, which we're going to talk about here because it's definitely behaving very strangely and not entirely how they said it would in the patch is going to be the gypsum system this is going to be the third best way to get gear upgrades the reason why i say third is because it's somewhat limited for those of us who have higher gear if you do not have all uh 590 watermarks in your armor and weapons already this is fantastic for you it gains incredible value because you can use all eight of these gypsum orbs and get eight upgrades per day guarantee which is great so I tested this um, and I went ahead and opened up some boxes for items that I already had maxed. And what I got was like 584 green life staff. I got a 599 green void gauntlet. I got a random purple 595 or something like that. So it was just completely random. It was like I had opened a high level elite chest and got a random item from it. So in my opinion, it's kind of weak if you already have a max uh, expertise level for that category however if you want to you can go ahead and you know get the main weapon that you focus on whatever that may be um, so if you're like a great axe user you could be like okay I'm gonna get a great axe upgrade every day and see what I roll on it but I wouldn't hold your breath on any armor upgrades or anything else beyond that just go for expertise upgrades that you do not already have max in the category so for me personally that would be three per day so one for every jewelry socket over here and then I may dip into like a life staff upgrade or something like that uh, maybe avoid gauntlet upgrade for PvE or something just from a healer perspective uh, but that's just kind of up to you on what you feel like you want to do because some of these activities can take quite a while to do and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk about those probably in a later video where we'll break down like what is worth on the gypsum system and that'll probably be a good topic uh, to kind of engage in there but anyways, I just wanted to kind of make this video to give you a good in-game insight on where the best places to get your loot expertise up was and the best places to get high level loot uh, so we'll do a final touch up which is going to be like where exactly is the best loot coming from so in my opinion there are two sources where it's coming from uh, both of the dungeons garden of genesis and lazarus instrumentality is definitely phenomenal however the crafting system is very key now with that we have the introduction of timeless shards timeless shards will allow you to very uh, very carefully hone and fine-tune a specific target of perks and attributes that you want and this allows you to create some very powerful items for relatively cheap so this timeless shard system and the crafting system is a very strong way to go for getting in-game best in slot items most of the best in slot stuff uh, like pure best in slot does come from Lazarus instrumentality so do keep that in mind as that will be probably one of the better dungeons for you to do I would recommend capping out your expertise really before you head in there so try to do as much garden as you can and avoid the Lazarus until you get to that higher level but hey if you're paying for an orb you might as well pay for it but save your Lazarus orbs for yourself or later on right so that you can get those big boy items coming from that uh, that area uh, so that's going to be the best location for you to get that at and then i will make a small side note because i have found several like bis items almost or really close to best in slot coming from the chest the elite just random elite chest right in the high level areas so that same runs that we have been getting so that actually may be worth hitting up honestly like it is really not that bad of an idea um, so all in all, that's pretty much going to be everything here from today. I'll update you more with how I feel about the uh, end game like items, like where we're getting all this stuff from and where it's going to be the best to get these kinds of gearing opportunities. Um, but we'll, we'll keep in mind um, on some of these topics for later. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate your time. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the subscribe, like, and bell button that we have down below. We also have a join button if you wish to become a member today. There's some special perks and benefits with that, and I'm going to be adding a little bit more to that here in the future. We also have a Discord in the description link where you can join our community and just ask us questions, engage with me if you want, and other people within there. We got quite a few people chatting on many topics, ranging from gold farming to dungeon farming farming to pvp and all kinds of cool stuff so definitely check that out if you're looking for some friends to play with in new world appreciate your time everyone thanks for watching and we will catch you in the next video